A mystery respiratory illness has stricken dogs in at least 14 states, according to the American Veterinary Medical Association, which is asking vets to report cases and while laboratories race to isolate the pathogen. Researchers are still attempting to determine if the disease, which can be fatal, is viral or bacterial, and whether it could be a variant of the well-understood canine disease known as Kimmel cough. Symptoms including coughing can last four to six weeks, which could be mild bronchitis or could escalate to pneumonia. These cases tend to be testing negative to our normal agents that cause the disease and have a really prolonged course of the disease up to four to six weeks, said veterinarian Rena Carlson, president of the association. Some acute cases have quickly become pneumonia within 24 to 36 hours, the association said. Well, we're seeing over the United States uh, outbreaks of respiratory disease. It appears to be potentially an atypical course of our, our respiratory disease in dogs. And that's what has us most alarmed is the uh, typical course. We're used to that, but these cases tend to be testing negative to our normal uh, agents that cause the disease and have a really prolonged course of the disease, up to four to six weeks. So far, there is little indication the disease can spread to humans, but vets are warning dog owners to take extra care to prevent spreading this holiday season. When pets travel with families or are placed in kennels when their owners go away, though cases have been reported for months, the Associated has stepped up its public advisories recently for the holiday season. Well, we've certainly have reports of deaths associated with this particular uh, outbreak of respiratory disease. And I think it's important for everybody to really make sure that they've consulted their veterinarian on risk level for your individual dog. Make sure you've got them vaccinated for our known diseases. The better they can fight off our typical diseases, the better they'll be able to fight off anything new. Oregon has reported some 200 cases, and there have been an unknown number of cases in California, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Washington. So right now I'm not that scared. I, of course, want to make sure that my, my dog and all my clients' dogs are fully immunized, um, but I'm not that scared about it right now. Way. Like, I mean, keeping them up to date on his shots and stuff like that, keeping them healthy. I mean, regular walks, but then again, at the same time, around trusted areas that you think that, I mean, it'd probably make more sense to keep your dog safe or let alone anybody safe for that matter. But yeah, like, because transmission's kind of serious if you really think about it. The Oregon Department of Agriculture is working with state and national diagnostic laboratories to identify the causative pathogen. The Colorado State University College of Veterinary Medicine and Biological Sciences has linked the disease to cases of severe pneumonia and some deaths, the association said in its latest advisory. We've had as far as confirmed cases, I don't know if we can say for sure how many, but probably anywhere from like five to 10 in the last four to six months. Um, it's been around for about a year from what we can tell. We don't know exactly what it is, where it's coming from. Um, but basically what we've been seeing is just kind of general clinical signs associated with kennel cough. So cough, lethargy, um, sometimes I'll like hack up a little bit of foam. Uh, exercise intolerance, sometimes decreased appetite. Anecdotally, we've heard that chloramphenicol has been working very well for this, uh, this issue. So now we've kind of been skipping, oh, okay, if doxycycline doesn't work, maybe we just go straight to chloramphenicol to make sure that we treat this before it gets really severe. Um, sometimes pets need to come in for nebulization where it's essentially going into like a little steam room. Um, kind of like having a humidifier blowing in your face and they just get some, some steroids, antibiotics, that kind of decongestant stuff. Um, sometimes they need to be hospitalized to get injectable medications in, especially if they get so sick that they do develop a secondary pneumonia. 
real need to panic. It's not something that's going to take a dog's life like that. It's going to be something that if you're going to notice they're getting worse, you should have at least have time to get checked out, get medications on board. Um, and we have a lot of good options for supportive care type situations if need be. Experts in New Hampshire have focused their investigation on a new, unique bacterium, but so far antibiotics have been a largely ineffective treatment, Carlson said.